Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So probably about a week ago I decided to upgrade my home office one more time due to the opening of my new Etsy shop which will be linked down below and all of that good stuff and you should have watched that video by now. So I just want to take you guys on a little tour today just to see the upgrades and how I'm going to be functioning and using it as a new Etsy shop owner and you guys know that I do a lot of work from home and all of that. So I'm interested, oh I'm interested, I'm super, well I'm interested and excited to take you guys on a little tour so let's get going okay you guys so I thought it would be fitting to start with this area here considering that is still up from last time so I upgraded my space about a month ago and that is a letter board that I got from Family Dollar and it's still up because I haven't changed it. So anyway, let's start here and make our way to the left. So we live in a tiny two bedroom apartment and this is just my little creative space. I absolutely love it and I'm here for it. And so I just wanna share it with you guys in case you're trying to be in a small space. Now obviously this isn't like super small, it's actually the dining room area, but it's also not like super large either. To the left is the kitchen behind that wall and to the right is the living room. So I'm going to walk you guys through like the changes and such. If you want to see information about like where I've gotten all of these things and whatnot, you can check out my previous videos and I'll link it up here. I think up here. Um, it's a playlist of all of my upgrades over the last year and a half. So this is the three column calyx shelf from Ikea. I mentioned this in the last video. If it, if we did not live in an apartment, I would probably hang it up, but we live in an apartment, so I do not. But up at the top, I have a candle, washi jar. This is full of like charms and paper clips and such for my planner. This is where I kind of put random thing. Yeah, I just kind of put random things there. That's a little cup that matches. I'm kind of into blush pink, even though I'm not a pink person, but it looks really cute in like an all white space and it goes well with gold. Um, that's just a little fl um, a flower arrangement DIY from Dollar Tree lamp, iPhone pictures from our wedding day and that which I got as a gift. Almost everything you're looking at is a gift. This is a good place. This shelf is a good place for me to store like all of my gifts. That's a book that I got for my birthday and a cup that I got for my birthday. Um, a little arrangement. Most of this stuff is from Dollar Tree, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Home Goods. Here are my Erin Condren planner folios and a notebook and a notepad. These items I need to give away. Here is my tag whenever I go to the planner meetups in my city. And then those are just some traveler's notebook type stuff. I'm moving down here. That's a 2019 planner and a past planner. This is just a cute little diamond pins situation another washi jar book that I got for my birthday and that's a budget planner I need to give away those are all past planners and then my happy planner discs those are some of the things that I have gotten from Erin Condren that I got from home goods I think mm, I think and then those are my Erin Condren journals the hardbound journals and the rose gold stuff came from Walmart, those two baskets, and then the rest of the rose gold stuff came from Amazon. And then these are little boxes from Ikea, and you can just pull them out, and I store random stuff in there. Let's move on over to my desks. So, I now have three desks, and I'm going to walk you guys through why I have all of them. So this is actually where I film. So I may put in a clip showing you guys my filming setup, but I've shown that like a million times before. Just know that I have an extension cord there and I plug up all three of my studio lights and then I have my tripod, tripod right there. So this is my faux sheep, faux something rug that I got from <sighs> Marshall's CJ Mac. All of them are pretty much the same. I think I got it from Marshalls for like 20 bucks and actually let's go ahead and whip around this way so this is actually my craft desk and it'll make sense once we get over there 
here is a rolling cart that I purchased from Michaels yes and then I have all of my stickers on here and my pens so these are all stickers stickers and more stickers and when I'm crafting and planning it's just right there and I can roll it around because it has wheels that's my bag that I carry on a regular basis I normally dump it there because it really just only has <laughs> planners inside of it and so I'm always needing to look inside of my planner so I just kind of throw it there here is what the top of the desk looks like picture iPhone picture from my husband and I on our wedding day this is just a little clear organizer that I got from the Dollar Tree you guys and I just put a little bling on it Dollar Tree um, and those are my utensils that I use for planning tape correction um, tape runner scissors all of that I'm um, more supplies those are stickers that I don't want to throw away that I plan to use in the future but it does make this all ugly so but it's whatever and then here is like a little plant holder that I got from Ikea and I keep all of my black pens in there because black pens are life this is um what is this <laughs> I think I won it at a planner meetup or something yeah and I just have like paper clips and such in there I could probably do away with it and I probably will this is a new addition so this is my washi organizer from Michaels it was $15 half off it was half off and it made it $15 and then that is a it's like a makeup organizer really from TJ Maxx and it has a marble siding so I thought that that was cute and then I have stickers at the top and then I have like some loose washi here my tape tape gun my glue gun and my laminator and then my planner that I'm currently using yes it's a whole lot so this is my craft table this is a Linman tabletop from Ikea and I have two Adele's legs and then I have the Alex drawer that's also an Alex drawer which we'll get to that so this is an Alex drawer and I have just a bunch of like real life supplies that one would need to plan and craft to their heart's desire. Now, I didn't really double check that there was no sensitive information. A lot of the planner supplies that I need, and it's all type of junked up, but this is how I live my life. So, um, electronics drawer, a lot of my filming equipment and such, and then baby wipes because Michelle told me that it is baby wipes work well with wiping off these tabletops and such or just like any type of desk so that's what those are for and then I have cards that I've been given cards that I sent out markers crayons envelopes all of that stuff now moving over to this side of the wall this is one of the new additions this is my Alex drawer so this is an Alex drawer and this is an Alex drawer this is the biggest Alex drawer I believe and I have all of my Etsy shop equipment in here so the top one has my paper and then I have trying to make sure that yep see there was sensitive information in there more paper all of my different types of paper some of my designs in that drawer and then some of my mailers and that kind of thing so all Etsy shop materials I have a little candle burning from Walmart and this somebody gave to me and I've been using it for like probably like two months I'm just now realizing at this very moment that those are snowflakes so I guess I I mean it's appropriate now because it's November but yeah that's what we have going on there and then this is a cute little arrangement that I have in the background of my videos okay so this is a girl boss um, thing <laughs> picture thing that I got from Hobby Lobby and the be the good you want to see in the world is from Michaels and I just clip little cards on there and as I get cards I kind of change them out and all of that I think that's cool same thing here same type of situation that thing that wired thing is from Target the um, clock is from Target she created a life she loved is from Hobby Lobby and then that wire thing came with the rose gold thing <laughs> came with that set which is from Amazon I have a plant over there my fan my microphone that I use for podcasts and voiceovers and such my MacBook Air that I use for editing and blogging and whatnot my magic mouse 
this mat came from Amazon and then in here that is sensitive information I think well not really well that one is I think this is like my paper trimmer yeah and my sprocket and like supplies for crafting in a Bible and then there's my trash can it does have trash inside of it this chair is from Wayfair you guys know I'm obsessed this is how it looks like this is what it looks like beautiful they even have one with gold gold accents and I think another one maybe you black obsessed it is so comfortable and I love it and I just keep my blanket there because I'm always cold and that is from Walmart and then I do have this rolly thing here it's not very big but it rolls me from that desk <laughs> to that desk over here I have sheer panels because I need all of the sunlight that I can get when I'm filming and whatnot so that is what we have going on there and so this is the last space there's my silhouette there's my lamp there's my printer there are my poster boards a little fake, fake plant situation back there and then this is a chair that I got from Ikea it was 20 bucks and then I just bought that cushion and then I kind of sit there and print and cut and then the tabletop is also from Ikea and that's the four Adele's legs so whereas I have two Adele's legs over there and then an Alex drawer holding up this part of the tabletop I just opted for four legs over here because I think that's all that I needed one thing that I forgot to mention is this is an Alex desk from Ikea and back here you can put cords and such in there but as you can see I do not have that going on this is pretty much what the room looks like at all times it's not really messy really because it's pretty much the cleanest space it's in the dining room so it has to be like remotely clean and it's one of the clean cleanest spaces in our apartment for sure but just to give you guys a little overview um, whenever we move whenever that is <laughs> I'm definitely gonna have like a really well lit craft area and I want the walls to be like perfectly white I don't really mind what it looks like right now like the setup I kind of like it but if I had my way the walls would be like pure white like the purest of the purest but this is like an off-white mm. So that's like the one thing that I would change. And then the Inspire, um, I don't know what we're calling all of these. I don't know if these are, like if that, that thing is a picture, I mean I guess, but not really. Anyway, that is from Hobby Lobby. I do have a fan and a light up here. And that is pretty much the craft space. Again, over to the right is the kitchen. And this is all of my little craft room. So anyway, just wanted to share with you guys my updates and whatnot, and I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys.